week 14 of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few centers I look to drop this week. The first guy, Aniki Akangu of the Atlanta Hawks. So he's filled in very well for Clint Capella, who obviously has missed multiple games, but now he's back in the lineup and he returned in yesterday's ball game is Quinn Capella. So on the season here for Akangu, not a bad season at all. 9.3 points a game, 7.6 rebounds and assists, 1.2 blocks, and a great 61% from the field. So right here, he was getting a lot of playing time with Capella out. But now with Capella back in the lineup, I believe the numbers are going to fall and the playing time is going to fall, obviously. In the last few weeks, 9.4 a game, 9.7 rebounds, 1.9 assists, 2 blocks, a steal, and 61% from the field. So he, even in Capella's return, he did play 27 minutes, but he didn't really have a great stat line. So the last few games here for a Kongu, January 13th at Indiana Pace is 18 points, 20 rebounds, four assists, two steals, four blocks, 75% from the field. January 14th at the Raptors, 10 points, 13 rebounds, a steal, two blocks, 50% from the field. Then January 16th versus Miami, eight points, three rebounds, a steal, a block, and 100% from the field. So right here, playing time, definitely going to go down. Clint Capella, we know he's a good center and a high-paid one at that that's going to get the playing time for Atlanta. So right now with Capella back here, a Congo, I think, in 10 and 12 team leagues, is a center I would drop this week. No doubt about it, Capella could go down at any time, and it could be a big pickup once again. But right now with him back in the lineup, I would drop him after what we saw in yesterday's ball game, the next guy, Kevin Love for the Cleveland Cavaliers. So Kevin Love, last season was a great year for him, but this year here, he's taking more of a backseat with Mobley and obviously Jared Allen getting a lot of playing time on the season for Love. 8.8 .8 points a game, 7.2 rebounds, 2 assists, 1.7 threes, and an awful 38% from the field in the last couple weeks here. He just can't hit a shot at all, it seems like. 5.1 points a game, 7 rebounds, 1.6 assists, and 24% from the field to so Kevin Love. He's not hitting the three ball. He's hurting your field goal percentage big time. And he's not playing big minutes as well. 15, 20 minutes a game only for this calf team. January 12th at Portland, no points, six rebounds in that one. January 14th at the Timberwolves, six points, eight rebounds, two assists, two threes, 28% from the field. And January 16th versus the Pelicans, four points, eight rebounds, three assists, and 14% from the field. So right now his best days are behind him. Unfortunately for Kevin Love, he's had a solid career, no doubt about it. But right now, he's a backup guy over there and a veteran leader for this Cleveland Cavalier team. And not a guy who really has fantasy value. And he's a drop this week in the third and final center. I look to drop this week's Jalen Duran and the Detroit Pistons. So Duran got off to a decent start early in the season. But now, he's a guy banged up. And we don't know when he's going to return as well for this Detroit Pistons team. Where he's been day to day, but really hasn't played in the ball games, is Durant. So on the season, pretty decent number: 7.7 .7 points a game, 8.5 rebounds and assists, and 63% from the field. In the last couple weeks, before he went down with injury, 14 and a half a game, 10 rebounds, a steal, and 81% from the field. So right now, he's not going to be back. I think for the next few games with the ankle injury, and he's a guy like I said, he was doing good with field goal and rebounding, but he's not a guy that's a mustache with his injury over the last few weeks here. So the last few games before he went down, January 2nd at the Trailblazers, five points, 11 rebounds, three assists, a steal, a block, 33% from the field. January 4th at the Warriors, 18 points, 11 rebounds, 100% from the field. Then January 6th at the Spurs, 11 points, nine boards, two steals and 62% from the field. So once he returns, maybe he's a guy you go back out there and get on your fantasy team. But right now it's troubling with the ankle injury here. For Duran, where he's been out since January 6th, so right now he's a center I wouldn't stash and I would drop this week. So that's a few centers I look to drop in week 14 of the fantasy basketball season.